Hey there, welcome back to How to Windows. It's been a while since we last discussed this topic, and guess what? Microsoft recently rolled out a major update to OneNote, rendering our previous method ineffective. But fear not. In this video, I've done some extensive research to bring you a slightly more complex yet effective method to set up your pen tablet buttons for Microsoft OneNote. Trust me, if you follow the steps I'll be showing you, you'll be up and running in no time. In fact, I couldn't find any other reliable sources for this solution, so you're in the right place. Let's dive into the video and get this sorted out. Before we proceed, let me introduce you to the pen tablet I'll be using in this video, the Huion Inspiroi 2M. I want to give a big shout out and thank you to Huion for sponsoring this product. The Huion Inspiroi 2M is a fantastic pen tablet with some impressive features. It's equipped with eight buttons and a scroller, giving you plenty of customization options. But what really caught my attention is the group keys functionality. With this feature, you can set up three separate sets of shortcuts for different applications or even different users. And the best part? Toggling through these sets is a breeze with the group keys. Now, let's talk about the pen itself. It's a battery-free pen with Pentec 3.0, ensuring you won't have to worry about running out of power in the middle of your creative sessions. One thing I've noticed about this pen tablet is the increased panel friction compared to its predecessors. As someone who has been using Huion pen tablets for a long time, I can definitely feel the difference in the drawing experience. Lastly, I must mention that this pen tablet is highly portable, making it convenient for on-the-go use. I've personally been using it for several weeks now, and I must say, I'm genuinely impressed with its performance. Now, let's jump right into the tutorial. Due to Microsoft's recent update, creating separate shortcuts for pens and highlighters in OneNote is no longer a direct option. However, we can work around this limitation by utilizing two third-party software tools. The first one we'll need is called Pullover's Macro Creator. Simply search for it on Google, and you'll easily find the download page. Once downloaded, go ahead and install it on your computer. The second software we'll be using is Auto Hotkey. Just like before, perform a quick search, locate the official website, and proceed with the installation. With both Pullover's Macro Creator and Auto Hotkey installed, let's move on to OneNote. Open the application and navigate to the ribbon layout settings. Choose the classic ribbon layout and ensure that you have selected the option to show tabs only. Next, head over to the Draw tab within OneNote. Here, you'll want to make sure you have added all the pens and highlighters to the window. Take a moment to double-check that you have selected the appropriate size and any other desired settings for each tool. Now we're about to dive into a few technical steps, and I understand that some of you may find them a bit daunting. Don't worry, I've got you covered. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, just follow the steps carefully, and I promise you'll get through it smoothly. The good news is that once we complete these initial technical configurations, you'll be able to effortlessly change your OneNote pens using your pen tablet. No more complex tech stuff involved. So let's stay focused and power through these steps together. All right, let's open up Pullover's Macro Creator. Once it's launched, we'll begin recording the series of actions we manually perform to change the pens in OneNote, and then we'll automate those steps using the program. To start, make sure you untick the Mouse Moves option by clicking on it. This will ensure that the macro record's key presses instead of mouse movements. Now click on the Record button, and you'll notice that the key assigned to start and stop the recording is F9. With the recording ready to go, click on the OneNote application to bring it into focus, and then press F9 to begin the recording process. Next, Press the Alt key followed by the D key to open the Draw tab within OneNote. Now, using your mouse, click on the pen you wish to assign to the shortcut. For example, I'll select the black pen. Once you've made your selection, press the ESC button to close the ribbon. Lastly, press F9 once again to stop the recording. Great job! We've successfully recorded the steps necessary to change the pens in OneNote, now we'll move on to automating these actions using Pullover's Macro Creator. 
Now, if you navigate back to Pullover's Macro Creator, you'll notice that our recorded steps are displayed there. We can now make some adjustments to optimize the macro. First, let's remove unnecessary pauses and refine the timing. Set the pause time after pressing D to 200 milliseconds and remove any other pauses or unnecessary elements from the recorded steps. We want the macro to run smoothly without any unnecessary delays. Next, double-click on the first Windows Activate element in the list. This will open the settings for that action. Click on the Win Title button and ensure that only the Process option is selected. This ensures that the macro activates the OneNote process correctly. Now click on the three dots and locate the OneNote application. Right-click on it to select it as the target for our macro. Fantastic! We've finalized the steps of our macro. To ensure everything is working correctly, let's go ahead and play the macro. Give it a test run, and you should see the recorded steps being executed flawlessly. This confirms that our macro is functioning as intended. Great job! If you've followed the steps without encountering any issues, it's time to export our macro as an AHK file. To do this, navigate to the File menu within Pullover's Macro Creator. From there, select the option to export our macro. Next, double-check that this thing is set to None. Now choose a folder where you'd like to save the exported AHK file. Once you've chosen the folder, click on Export to finalize the process. This file will contain the necessary instructions to automate the pen changing process in OneNote using your pen tablet's buttons. Now, let's move on to the next step. Open Auto Hotkey on your computer. Once the program is launched, you'll see a window with various options. Click on the Compile button within this window. If this is your first time using Auto Hotkey, it may prompt you to download some necessary files. Simply click OK to proceed. AutoHotkey will automatically download and install the required files for you. After the files have been downloaded and installed, the program will present you with another window. Within this window, click on the Browse button and navigate to the location where you saved the AHK file we exported earlier. In some cases, you might encounter an error message. If this happens, simply change the base file to the correct one that I specify. This adjustment should resolve any issues, and you'll be able to proceed successfully. Once everything is set up correctly, the program will compile the AHK file, resulting in a .exe file. If you open this file, it should execute the programmed process, which in our case is changing the pen in OneNote to the black pen. We're almost at the end of this technical process now. Now let's configure your pen tablet to trigger the last file we created when you press a button. Open your pen tablet software and locate the specific button you want to assign this functionality to. In my case, I'll be using the lower button on the pen. Within the pen tablet software, look for an option such as Run Program or Assign Program. Select this option and choose the .exe file we created in the previous step as the program to be run when the button is pressed. Now let's put it to the test with your actual pen. Press the Assigned button on your pen tablet, and you'll see that the process we programmed, changing the pen in OneNote to the black pen in my case, executes seamlessly. You've successfully configured your pen tablet to trigger the desired functionality when you press a button. Now let's continue the process by programming your pen tablet for additional functionalities. Following the same set of steps, you can program your pen tablet for a red pen and a yellow highlighter allowing you to easily switch between different colors in OneNote. Additionally, you can program the scroller on your pen tablet to scroll through your notes, making navigation a breeze. Feel free to customize the scroller for other tasks, such as zooming in and out, based on your preferences.
Apart from that, let's program a button on your pen tablet to enable and disable the automatic shapes feature in OneNote. In my case, the keyboard shortcut for this action is Alt plus D plus H. You can find the keyboard shortcuts for any OneNote tool by pressing the Alt key and exploring the options. And there you have it. You can see firsthand how well your pen tablet is working with Microsoft OneNote. The seamless integration of the pen tablet's buttons and functionalities has greatly enhanced your note-taking experience. If you found the information helpful and enjoyed the content, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We value your feedback and would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy note-taking with your pen tablet and Microsoft OneNote.